prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we listen to God's Word and keep His covenant of faith with us. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. 
I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abram, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents and the judgments He has uttered. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. You, descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. Kapag ngayon'y napakinggan ang tinig ng buong bakal huwag na din yung hatang The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham. Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
as we continue our journey this season of Lent and as we come nearer to the climax of this journey in the celebration of the Holy Week and the Easter Triduum, we are reminded today that our Lenten journey is a journey from nothingness to greatness. That God can work even in human weakness and even in human frailty, God can create goodness and holiness. And we can see this in the example of our first reading today from the book of Genesis in the story of Abraham. Abraham was a nobody. He was an old man from a small tribe compared with other nations who have great kings, great armies. Abraham came from a small tribe that is a nobody in the world. Abraham was an old man who cannot even bear or sear a child. But from his nothingness, God created greatness. Kahit na sa tingin ni Abraham, siya at ang kanyang mga kababayan ay hindi kilala, walang wala. Pero sa kanila nagmula at gumawa ang Diyos ng mga dakilang bagay. That is why in our gospel reading today, Jesus explains to the Jews that whoever keeps his word will never see death. And the Jews did not believe him because the Jews said, How can life come from death? E patay na nga. Paano manggagaling dyan ang buhay? That is the creative power of God. Even in death, God can create life. Even in our nothingness, God can create greatness. So my dear brothers and sisters, if you feel that you are a nobody right now, if you feel that you are nothing in this world, Jesus reminds us today, keep the faith, keep the covenant, keep God's word, and God will create greatness out of your nothingness. Kaya nga si Jesus sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon, minamata siya ng mga pariseyo at eskriba. Mababa ang tingin sa kanya. Towards the end of our gospel today, they even picked up stones to throw at him because they looked down at him. Maybe they would even say, how can this simple man from Nazareth tell us that he came from the Father and that Abraham saw him? He is a nobody. He is nothing. They were throwing stones at him. My dear brothers and sisters, I am sure there are experiences in your life that people throw those stones at you. Baka naranasan nyo na rin yan. Batuhin kayo ng kung ano-ano. Eh sino ba yan? Di naman kilala yan. Sino ba yan? Wala namang kakayanan yan. Sino ba yan? Eh lutang naman palagi yan. 
baka bato sila ng bato sa iyo ng kung ano-ano na wala ka namang alam. Jesus reminds us, keep the faith, keep the covenant, keep the word, and even from your nothingness, God can create greatness. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the journey of Lent. Even from our human weakness and frailty, God can create goodness, holiness, and greatness. Amen. Please stand. Let us now present our petitions to Jesus who guides us in our journey of faith to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the God's kingdom may exist within the hearts of those who recognize Jesus' presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That through Jesus, we may receive the strength to journey in faith as Abraham did. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our faith may be clearly evident through Jesus' action in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who are in trouble may acknowledge Christ's presence who accompanies them in their journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may reach their eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Lord God, Grant our petitions and sustain our faith as we journey through life that our reunion with you may be joyful. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. This coming Sunday is the celebration of Palm Sunday as we enter Holy Week. Our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m. The 10 a.m. Mass will be presided by our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula. And before the celebration of his 10 a.m. Mass, we will be unveiling and blessing the image of the homeless Jesus at the patio of the Manila Cathedral. For the detailed schedule of all the celebrations and the sacrament of confession here at the Manila Cathedral this coming Holy Week, you may look at our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so that you may be updated of all the celebrations here at the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.